Welcome to the British Virgin Islands and Navigari Yachting post COVID 19. This is where you could get additional weather information on your VHF radio as well as your stereo. The weather in the BVI changes at a drop of a hat, so keep abreast with your weather. The base can be contacted between the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, except in an emergency. These numbers can be found in your boat folder and the cell phone in the chat table of your vessel. Free mobile phone. Calls to and from the base with these mobile phones are free. Navigari also provides free Wi-Fi service. A copy of the Wi-Fi instruction sheet will be emailed to you. Visa. Visa is the Virgin Islands Search and Rescue. They are a charitable organization. Visa is on call 24 hours. To contact Visa, you could reach them via VHF Radio Channel 16 or 767 on the cell phone we've provided. Base emergency contacts. Should you need to reach the base after normal operating hours, this is the number that you need to call. Pre-cruise checklist. Your cruising and national park permits can be found in the chart table of your vessel. It is imperative the number of persons on board matches your permit Otherwise, you can face fines upwards of $10,000. Your inventory checklist can be found in your chart table. Sailing to the U.S. Virgin Islands at this time is not permitted due to COVID-19. You will find your fins on board in one of your cockpit lockers. Check for your size before you depart. Life jackets are also found in one of your lockers aboard your vessel Check for your size. We provide kids life jackets upon request. Your shore power should be disconnected and stored away prior to your departure. Two complimentary bags of ice is provided. Information in regards to water toy rentals will be emailed to you upon request. Fish traps. Be aware of small floating markers. Do not go between two markers. They are usually connected. If you snag a fish trap, please try to first untangle the line. It should be caught only as a last resort. National Park Boys. National Park balls are color-coded. Red balls are for snorkeling and day use only. The yellow balls are for commercial dive boats. The blue balls are for dinghies only. The National Park also has a flag system depending on the weather. The yellow flag, exercise caution. The red flag, find an alternate destination. The purple flag, jellyfish has been sighted. Dinghy. Ensure to pick a dinghy captain prior to your departure. Ensure all the dinghy safety gear is on board before you depart. Snorkeling. We recommend staying as a group when snorkeling. Snorkel with a buddy at all times. There's quite a bit of barracudas in the BVI waters. We've never had a barracuda attack in the BVI. Barracudas are attracted to shiny objects. Prior to snorkeling, leave all your chains, all your jewels on board. The sea urchins, this could ruin your vacation in a minute. Keep an eye out while snorkeling or walking between rocks. Jellyfish. Typically, we have jellyfish issues in the summer months. Once there's jellyfish, a purple flag will be flown at the national parks. The eels, quite a bit of eels in our waters. If you cannot see what's in a hole or crevice, do not stick your finger in there. You will come up short. Navigations. Be aware of unmarked shoals and other hazards. The captain is responsible for making good navigational decisions. Report any and all incident, including personal injury. Remember, coral reef ticks years to grow and seconds to destroy. Restrictions. Night sailing is not permitted. Do not throw any garbage overboard 
you will be fined if you get caught. Do not leave any cardboard boxes on board. This could result in a family or two of roaches vacationing with you. Do not take anything leaving out of the sea, and by that we mean if you go to the RMS Rhone, you cannot remove any of the artifacts. If you come across a lobster trap while you're snorkeling, please do not touch any of the lobsters. Report any and all incidents, whether great or minor, to the Navigari office immediately. Accident and personal injury should also be reported to the Navigari emergency number on the cell phone provided. BVI wind conditions. Typical wind conditions in the BVI for the months of November through January are usually out of the east-northeast between 15 to 25 knots. During the months of February through June, the winds are typically out of the east again between 15 to 20 knots. And winds are out of the southeast in the months of June through October, 10 to 15 knots. The first anchorage we would recommend leaving Nanny Key would be Cooper Island in the Sir Francis Drake Channel. The dominant, the dominant anchorage at Cooper Island is called Manchineel Bay. Things to do at Manchineel Bay would be snorkeling at Cistern Point and also uh, snorkeling along the shore of Cooper Island. Unfortunately, the restaurant at Cooper Island is closed, but that wouldn't prevent you from enjoying the wonderful scenery that's available at Cooper Island. Visit the Wreck of the Rhone National Park on Salt Island, which is located uh, just in front of Cooper Island. Use the red mooring balls, which are available for the national parks. Pick up your red mooring ball and snorkel or dive the Rhone National Park. This is one of the most popular dive spots on Tortola. After your day trip at the Wreck of the Rhone, we would recommend that you visit the baths on Virgin Gorda. You would sail easterly towards Virgin Gorda and pick up a red mooring ball just outside the baths. You are not allowed to take your dinghy on shore at the baths, so please uh, secure your dinghy to the designated area uh, for your dinghy and swim to shore or snorkel along the coast of the baths. This is an aerial shot of the baths. Unfortunately, you will not be allowed to visit the restaurant during this COVID-19 era, um, but please feel free to uh, visit the baths and enjoy the wonderful scenery here. This is a shot of Devil's Bay, also adjacent to the baths. This is a shot of Spring Bay on Virgin Gorda. This is a shot of Trunk Bay on Virgin Gorda. If there's a red flag flying on the beach of uh, the bass, uh, this indicates that there could possibly be a north swell. If there's a north swell on the bass, we would not recommend that you snorkel here. Remember that snorkeling is a physical activity and you should always consult your physician, particularly if you're taking any medications. This is a shot of uh, what the conditions may look like if there's a north swell at the baths. Just up the coastline from the baths, we've got Spanish Town on Virgin Gorda. Uh, please follow the channel markers that would lead you safely into the marina. Hail them on channel 16. Uh, the hail sign or the call sign is Virgin Gorda Yacht Harbor on channel 16. Again, please follow the channel markers that would lead you safely into the marina. Just up the coastline from uh, Virgin Gorda Yacht Harbor we have Savannah Bay. This is not a Navigari approved anchorage so if you wanted to visit Savannah Bay you would have to do so from land. We do not recommend taking your vessel here because of the reefs and shoals that protect the natural beach. Moving up the coastline of Virgin Gorda we're going to be heading to Gorda Sound. As you head up to Gorda Sound, you will see Mosquito Island and you'll see Calcahoon Reef and their channel markers that would lead you safely into the Gorda Sound area. You will see a narrow passage between Mosquito Island and Virgin Gorda. You're not allowed to go through this narrow passage. Once you get into Gorda Sound, you have Leverick Bay, 
that is available, hail them on channel 16, where you can get a slip, you can top up your water tanks, you can get ice. There's also a market and a restaurant available at Leverick Bay. Hail them on channel 16 for docking instructions. This area is Gorda Sound. Uh, this area is currently under development. We've got the Better End Yacht Club and Sabre Rock, which is under development at this time. Other areas to visit while you are in the Gorda Sound area would be the Oil Nut Bay uh, Resort. Follow the channel markers that would lead you safely into the Oil Nut Bay area or visit them with your dinghy. As you follow the coastline uh, along Virgin Gorda, you will see the Oil Nut Bay Resort. The Nova Marina is located within the Oil Nut Bay Resort facility. After you're done with Gorda Sound, the next logical thing to do is to head to Anagata. Heading to Anagata is due north of Gorda Sound. Uh, I would recommend using the charts and also your GPS uh, when heading out to Anagata. Anagata is completely flat and is not visible while you're underway. There are 365 shipwrecks that surround Anagata. Follow the channel markers that would lead you safely into the anchorage once you arrive. You will see palm trees before you actually see uh, the anchorage of Anagata. Once you've got the channel markers in sight, follow the channel markers that would lead you into the anchorage. When you get to Anagata, please feel free to explore the many beaches and restaurants that are available once there. Take this opportunity to enjoy our local cuisine of fresh grilled lobster, conch fritters, or fish bites. While you're in Anagata, you might be lucky to see the flamingos in the pond or get a tour of the conch island, which is uh, comprised of conch shells that have been collected over the years by the fishermen. Anagata is an ideal place to do some bone fishing or get a guided tour of places that are not accessible by the yachtsman. After you're done with Anagata, the next logical thing to do is to sail back towards Tortola. Please stop off at the Dogs, which is a national park, for snorkeling or perhaps have lunch on board. This is a great dog. The mooring balls available are the mooring balls are located on the western end of Great Dog. This is George Dog. And again, remember that the dogs are a national park and you're not allowed to stay overnight at the national parks. Your next overnight option would be Scrub Island or Marina Cay. This is a shot of Marina Cay. Please avoid the horseshoe reef that surrounds Marina Cay. The Scrub Island facility is available. Hey, Lum on channel 16 or channel 72. This is an ideal place to uh, get a slip, plug in your vessel to electricity, and fill up your water tanks. This is a shot of Trellis Bay. There are overnight mooring balls available at Trellis Bay. And this is close to the Beef Island Airport. Check your calendar while you're on vacation to determine if there will be a full moon while you are in the BVI. Visit Trellis Bay and enjoy their full moon party. As you are navigating away from Trellis Bay, please follow the narrow passage between Great Camano and Little Camano. Do not head towards the airport. Stop by and visit Monkey Point, which is another national park in the BVI. This is White Bay Beach on Guana Island. After you're done snorkeling at Monkey Point on Guana Island, the next logical spot would be Cane Garden Bay or Yost Van Dyke. Enjoy the views as you navigate on the northern shore of Tortola. This is an aerial shot of Cane Garden Bay. Follow the channel markers that would lead you safely into the anchorage. Pick up an overnight 
mooring ball or safely anchor in the sand at Cane Garden Bay. Visit the newly remodeled Quito's restaurant. If you visit the BVI during the winter months, there may be a north swell that might make the anchorage uncomfortable. Please bear this in mind when you pick up an overnight mooring ball at King Garden Bay. After King Garden Bay, head over to Jos van Dyke. Pick up an overnight mooring ball at Diamond K. Diamond K gives you access to a spot called the Bubbly Pool. There are trails that mark access to the bubbly pool. Please be careful when visiting the bubbly pool and avoid climbing the rocks. When there is no north swell, the bubbly pool is a warm, tranquil tidal pool. Next, we've got Sandy Spit and Sandy K. Sandy K is a national park and you're not allowed to stay overnight on any of the national parks. This is an, this is an excellent daytime spot. And we would recommend that you stay at Little Harbor for your overnight anchorage. Little Harbor is the home of Sydney's Peace and Love and Harris's Restaurant. Just around the corner from Little Harbor, we have Great Harbor, which is the home of the infamous Foxies. Mooring balls are available overnight. There is a small dock on Great Harbor where you can get fuel, water, and ice. Take a short dinghy ride over to White Bay and Jules Van Dyke, Virgin Gordy Yacht Harbor. Cane Garden Bay, or Great Harbor on Jos van Dyke. Remember to empty your holding tanks before you return back to base while you're out in open water. And thank you for sailing with Navigar Recharge.